All right, Shalom. First of all, we're going to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and Chalk for Of course, double honors to the elders and apostles that great Muslim, well, peace and salutations to the elect. All right, the Bayata Wadada, House of David. All right, 144,000, one third. All right, whom the Lord will have mercy on. All right, with the brothers here from the great Muslim, play tables, came with the brother Amaf, play, you got the brother here, Yeshaya. We just go, uh, we just doing an in transit, you know, something. You know, we uh, was just talking about through the spirit. Um, it's currently January the first. All right, 2020. No longer we're saying 2019. No longer we're saying 2018. No longer we're saying 2017 or 2016. We're saying it is 2020. That's what we're in. That season now. All right, which is what year of prophecy. All right, coined by the apostle Elder. Tahar, Shalayach, now what our apostle, um, elder apostle Tahar, you all right, pure, all right, in which, you know, just uh, due to spirit, you know, I say, I remember the um, year 2018 was the year of prophecy, this just for year of prophecy V2, all right, now, you have to understand spiritually how that's uh, occurred, you know, like due to spirit, you know, you had so much prophecy occur in these years, okay, and you have it that we're pretty much at the at the tail at the the end. We're at the end right nah, now. Nah. All right. Like, like me and this brother are always talking about. We're always talking about how the time seemed to always be flying fast. Right. And 2019 felt like it was the whole year felt like it was a month long. Yeah. God, so it's crazy. And as the scripture says, you know, it says our salvation is nearer than when we believe. So with each passing like second, each passing day, our our salvation is closer and closer. Yeah. Yeah, you, you know, we just moving, moving to the coming, second coming of Yahweh Shai. All right? You know, that, you know, brothers should keep praying that days be shorter. All right? That our flight be not in the uh, winter. Okay? As the scriptures say, and that the Lord don't take his Holy Spirit away from us. Okay? That's the most important thing, you know, because brothers have came in this truth. As I tell you what, many are called. A few are chosen, okay. You want to be what for called chosen and fought, found what faithful and true, okay. That's what we want. So, you know, this is a very, very as I tell you, you know, you, you one man hearing at once, okay. Uh, that is what, uh, walking. What is that? Second, just a, uh, seven chapter, is it that one man, but he got water on one side fire on the other side, you know, man got to enter, at, you know, at, uh, one at one at a time, basically, you know, and brothers is working out their own salvation in fear and trembling, you got to make sure that you're grounded, okay, and it's more so you got to make sure you're grounding your feet, is, as I know I can say, I can say 10 toes down, <laughs> you know, you got to be 10 toes down, you know, steadfast, you know, firm, unmovable, because the times of what prophecy that entails with a lot of events occurring okay as apostle tahar i remember he was saying you know once this ship which is the rfid microchip get um what be rolled out to be mandatory the prophecies are just gonna just gonna boom 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 happen so simon is so quick you know and as the scriptures say that the lord is gonna make a speedy Radiant, radiant, radiance, or uh, readings <laughs> so I give I got the pronunciation of our enemy, which is Adawam E. Okay, so I'm just gonna get that uh, preset if I can find it. Kind of, and a big a, a part of uh, that me and brother, me and his brother was talking about is, is the persecution, and we're seeing that persecution coming, you know. And then we're also speaking about how a lot of men are gonna lose their faith because of that persecution. That persecution is important for brothers to stay strong and just to remain faithful and to pray to Yahweh Hashem outside that He keeps His spirit on us and to, to give us that strength to overcome, to endure to the end. Yeah, you know that's that's what it's all about. You know, through the persecution and just being able to make it to the end. All right, you know, to the chariot come. Our, our, if it's your lot to, of course, die for the the loyalty. To prove your loyalty, your integrity, the how about shit me out of shot that you fulfill that lot and not, of course, sacrifice your soul, all right, by taking a what? A free 
whatever gift, which is nothing but a bribe from Satan himself. All right, because Satan he desired to what to, to have uh, Peter. All right, which is the head of the church. All right, Satan would love to have, uh, of course, the elect being the spirit, this physical counterpart, which is uh, E. Out of Wild, he would love to have us, but remember, they, they can't. He can't pluck us out. Nothing's going to be able to pluck us out of our Father's hand. All right, this is uh, real quick. This is. Uh, this is Zephaniah chapter 1 and 6. You see, 1 and, one and Zephaniah 1 and 14, I'll start. It says here, the great day of Yahweh is near. It is near and hasteth greatly. Even the voice of the day of Yahweh, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. Okay? So even those who you think are very mighty strong the warriors the army men these mma fighters these dudes that you know think they so tough you know wearing getting bulletproof vests and all this these dudes are all gonna fold in that day because remember the spirit of yahweh is not with them all right you gotta have a year about the, the spirit of yahweh to be able to stand you know without yahweh shai we're nothing okay um and, you know, we got to be, of course, uh, rooted to know that we're going to be protected or preserved, all right, by that spirit. The angels, okay? It says here, verse verse 15, the day, that day is the day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess. In a day of clouds and thick darkness. And, you know, anytime you want to interject, just be, yeah. You know, so it's going to be all of these different things. You know, trouble, tajara, all right? Distress, wasteness, desolation is going to be the structuring, all right, of all that you see in society, as you can see it already occurring right now. You're going to see it at a, at a, at a, uh, at a point where it's going to be like, yeah, we know we in that Jacob trouble. You know, we definitely um, right there. Even like I said, the door you like right there by the the door by the open. You know, that's where we at. You said a day of darkness and gloomness and, and the clouds and, and thick darkness. It says uh, verse sixteen, a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities, against the high towers. All right, and yeah, you know you have. Uh, you have us, which we're the one, the men of the Lord, that's what. And we're the one, the watchmen that sound in the alarm. You know? It's going to happen where it's going to be what? That time when, um, I'm going to tell you in the book of Second Edges, we'll get it real quick. Uh, Second Edges 16. All right, time the latter verses. This is, uh, I'm going I'm to just start here, just to be spirit. This is, uh, it's the book of Second Edges. Chapter 16. All right, and starting at it says verse 20. It says, But for all these things, all right, actually, I'll start at 19. All right. 18. It says, The beginning of second 16 18. It says, The beginning of sorrows and great mornings. Beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils, bad times. What shall I do in these evil when these the evils shall come? All right, and that's Edris is the accident. Is. That's how terrible you know Edris receiving, receiving that vision was 2020. I know brothers are saying that you're they say like you know we got 2020, we got full clarity, you know. We can see that what the the Lord is bringing, all right, which is the end. It says, Behold, famine, plague, and plague, tribulation, anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. All right, these things are going to bring correction to um, to folk out here. Really, to bring judgment on the wicked and, of course, the elect to receive that final, as we as the I and I was going into, to be purged, all right, with all the. Uh, you know, be all the impurities and be what? Tried in the furnace of adversity 
to be what? To be fit for the kingdom. All right. The scripture says that the wicked are reserved for the day of, of judgment, the day yeah. of punishment. But, you know, the, the righteous, you know, the righteous is going to be saved out of all that. So the brothers, you know, if you, if you walk in the spirit of Yahweh Basham Al Shai, you don't have to worry about all the calamities that, that that's coming to pass. That's for the wicked. Yeah. I believe in, um, what is it, Ecclesiastic is the 40th chapter? I believe okay. the ninth verse. Cuss. Says, all yeah. right. Forty. Uh, this uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter forty. All right, I'm gonna go around there. He said nine or ten. Um, it says here, uh, uh, death and, and bloodshed, gotcha. strife. Right. That's gotcha. it. Gotcha. All right. So it's all right. Yeah. Yeah. It says. Um, yeah. Ecclesiasticus forty and nine. It says death. And bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and in the scorch. These things are created for the wicked. Huh, see, these things are created for the wicked. It's not created for the righteous. So all the all, all the calamity, all the bloodshed, all the well, what else did it say? Uh, it say um the bloodshed, the sword, God, the calamities, God. the famine, the tribulation. Yeah, all these different evil things, you know, that's coming to the earth. That's not for for, for the right for the servants of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. The scripture says that. The the, the 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 angels of the Lord and yeah. kept round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Yeah. So we're gonna be delivered out of anything that's coming upon the earth yeah. as long as we, you know, we keep our faith in Yahweh Bashem Yah Shah, we're yeah. gonna be delivered. That's Can you get uh Second Timothy one and seven? Yeah, this is the book of Second Timothy one and seven. All right. Second Timothy one and seven it reads here. It says for the power has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power kind. and of love. Kind. Yeah, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, has not given us the spirit of fear. So it's important for brothers not to be in that fearful spirit. So if you're in a fearful spirit, you got to pray to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai because because that, that's, that fear can spread. It can spread to other Akim. You know, yep. fear is contagious. You know, one, yeah. one person fears another, another person fears another person fears. So it's important to, for brothers to be, you know, constantly checking themselves and make, make sure, making sure that they're not in a fearful spirit. All right, we'll quick preset. This is Isaiah 41 and 10. It says, fear thou not for I with thee, Khan, Khan, Yahweh Bashim is with us. Khan, and the scripture says, "What if the Most High be be with you? Who can be against you?" So no matter who or what comes up against you, you know, as long as you know Yahweh Bashim is with you, nothing can can harm you yeah, in any way, it. shape, or form. Yeah, you got the power of heaven and earth and Khan, everything. Khan, Khan. Yep, it says, "Be not dismayed." For I am th thy power. Khan. Yeah, you can't be dismayed. You can't lose lose that hope, that faith. Khan. Hey, you know, you when we was reading uh, the book of Joshua, you know, we we just had a little, um, you know, uh, for for a test, you know, going into GMS homework. We was reading the book of Joshua. I just remember uh, how, all right, kept saying, you know, uh, to to the children of Israel, all right, look, I'm with you, okay. and, and, and he gonna conquer all of these different. We, you know, conquer the what the Canaanites, right, which are our enemies, and right? He, he kept telling them not to be afraid, right? Not that's to be it. Afraid of them, right? You know, so. You know, our, our um our our salvation and our faith got to be in the power of heaven, who is what more, as you say, uh, is is what he 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 controlled what the left and right, all right, and he's mightier than um uh, than any flesh, sure. you know, and our power is is you know is is mighty through. You know, you how about him now? Shy, it's spiritual. God, and, and speaking on the book of Joshua, when the, uh, certain men went out to spy out the land, yep. they came back with a with a with an evil report. You know, yeah. with a fearful re report. Yeah, they and that was a that was a wicked thing to do. You yeah. know, showing you that 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 fearful spirit. That's not the spirit of Yahabashim outside. Because what that shows a lack of faith. Yeah, that shows you don't you don't trust in Yahabashim outside. That he's gonna deliver you. Yeah, that's right. You know, you don't trust in his power. Yeah, they was uh, I believe it was uh, focused on the height, like God, giants God. and stuff. Stuff, you know, you know, and you know, seeing so many of them and stuff. Okay. But the Lord, he, he able to, we was able to subdue all of these different, uh, like the Hittites, the Persianites, and the Gegesites. Uh, in the, the, in the ones. book of, I believe, Joshua, uh, the 23rd chapter, it says, One of us shall put a, a thousand of flight. So yep. it don't matter how many, you know, how many enemies come, come up against us. That, that, right. that's, that's not important, you know. Yep. Y'all, Bashim Yasai can give us the, the, the power, yeah, yeah, the oh. strength to, to, to conquer any enemy, it could be a thousand people, ten thousand people. Yep. It doesn't matter as long yep. as Yahweh Shimon is with you. An angel, an angel of the Lord can 
Just you know, what I'm, saying? Well, <laughs> I'm not yeah, even gonna try to put yeah. a you know, a limit on it. Yeah, but the, but the age of the Lord can, can destroy any any and everything. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna finish off, and then I could probably try to go over to it. It says, I, "I will strengthen thee." It says, "Yea, I will help thee." Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. And who's the right hand of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai? Or Yahweh, Yahweh? His right hand is Yahweh Shai, sitting on the right hand of Yahweh. Okay? That's where, um, you know, our, our um, where we place our, our faith in, all right? Who's our uh, Ga'alia, all right? Ga'al Nawa, right, which that means our Redeemer is Yahweh Shai, you know? So, you know, Tazawaria, which is our uh, Tazawaria is my strength, but Tazawar now is our is my is our strength. Our strength is in Yahweh Shimon Shah. That's what we gotta, of course, remember. All right, um, Isaiah. Let me see. I think like twenty nine or thirty. Let me see a little real quick to it. This one that we just wanted to give this exhortation and, and a uh, a uh, you know just a faith booster to Akim because you know this this is this is it. Okay. This is it, man. You know, year of prophecy. You know, you got men that you know they they've been proven, okay. You know they they've been shown to be faithful and and, and gonna continue to. All right, that's what the elect are gonna do. All right, um, this is uh, Isaiah thirty one and one. It says, "Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chairs because they are many." And the and horsemen because they are very strong, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel. Neither seek Yahweh. All right, and that's you know the two thirds. All right, that's weak men who are feeble. All right, they they of course not rooted in his faith. All right, they of course trust and go to Egypt. All right, which that's going to he. All right, out of Wam, the wicked. All right, for what for 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 whatever it is horses. You know, which you know they're going to the different. Uh, what they got military might and such, all right? Power, okay? Trust and chariots, right? That's going to that. Yeah, because they have many. It says, "Yea, he also is wise, and he will bring and will bring evil, and will not call back his words, but will arise against the house of evil doers." Yep, and the, whatever the Lord says, it's gonna stand. It ain't gonna go back void. So, you know, if he say he's gonna bring judgment to the wicked, he's gonna do it. All right. If he say he's gonna bring salvation to the elect, he's gonna do it. All right. Um, but uh, but will arise against the house of evildoers and against the help of them that work iniquity. Okay. Now the Egyptians are men. All right. The modern day Egyptians are e. All right. We remember we in, in spiritually Egypt, Sodom, and Egypt. All right. Revelation. It says and not power and their horses flesh carnal. All right. Remember, we our, our weapons are our warfare, not carnal. They're mighty, dude, pulling down the strongholds. All right, the Lord's going to give, uh, endow the spiritual power unto the, uh, the elect. All right, come on. It says, and, and not spirit. Right, they're not la'a racha. All right, there's a big separation. All right, between that which is spiritual and what is carnal. All right, it's big enmity. Between you get uh, Jeremiah 17 and 5. All right, yep, this is Jeremiah 17. And five, and it reads here, Jeremiah 17 and 5. It says, Thus said Yahweh, cursed be the man that trusted in man. God, cursed be the man that trusted in man. You got a lot of guys out here, they putting trust in they, their trust in other men. They're putting tr their trust in their selves, you know, their physical capabilities. Mm -hmm. And they're putting their trust in, in these carnal weapons with guns, yeah. you know, with bulletproof <laughs> vests. You know, they're being real carnal, man. God. You got to put your trust in your house by your side. Yeah. You know, they just want to walk around with fringes. Look, the fringe is supposed to be to remember the law. Okay. Remember the words of Yahweh Shemashah, what he's saying. Don't depart from what he said. You know, don't go to the left or to the right. Just stay right. Okay. okay? If you read uh, First right. Samuel's uh, chapter 2, verse 9, it says, For by strength shall no man prevail. So you can't rely on your own strength. You can't rely on other men's strength. Mm -hmm. You can't rely on carnal weapons. You got to rely on Yahweh Shemashah, because that's what's going to get us through this, these different trials and tribulations. Ah, uh, yep. You know, we are rock. Okay. It said, thus, I'm going to finish it. It said, Cursed be the man that trusted in man and making his flesh arm and whose heart departed from Yahweh. Okay. Okay. Right. And there's, we, had, we talk about men that just fell out and stuff. It's like crazy, you know? 
they mind departed from the Lord. You know, as I tell you, many are called, but few are chosen. And it's just because them men weren't chosen, all right, to be of the elect. And that's just all the Lord that set that up. You know, you know, we we of course, you know, we 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 pray to be of that hopeful elect, you know, and we won't keep putting on as the hopeful elect. We pray not to be in that lot as those who you know, have what? They fell out and got what? We was talking about seven more unclean spirits put on them and such. Mm -hmm. We don't want to be like that, you know? We want to stay on track, rooted, and, and, and you know, focus on the being single-eyed single, single -eyed and single-minded, not double-minded. Not be one looking in the world and kind of, kind looking of. back. One foot one foot in the, in the <laughs> truth and one foot, one foot in the world, yeah, you know? You can't be doing that, man. That's, that's, that's not... If you are, you got to rebuke that like, look, man, oh, shoot, what am I, you know? It says no man, what, man that worth don't entangle himself with the affairs of this life. You know, so you got to you gotta stay, you know, single-eyed, man, you know? Uh, it says, for, um, for he shall be like the health in the desert and shall not see when good cometh. And you know, in the in the desert, it's nothing but what wasteness. You know, that, that's it. It says, "But shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness and the salt land, and not be uh, inhibited." Verse seven it says, "Blessed be is the man that trusted in Yahweh, and who the hope the Yahweh is, the Lord is. Yeah, for he shall be as a tree planted by waters, and spreadeth out her roots by the river, and." Shall not see when the heat cometh, but her leaf shall be green. All right, it's gonna be healthy. You know, Lord gonna obviously keep feeding us with wisdom, knowledge, understanding, making sure that you know we got bellies of living water. Right? It says, and uh, shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Because remember, the elect gonna eat, the servant shall eat, and um, these people gonna be hungry. You know. They say what? Uh, they gonna be thirsty? What they say? Yeah. Kind, kind. Yeah. You know, so I think that's Isaiah sixty-five and thirteen. Yeah, we'll read it real quick. Isaiah sixty-five and thirteen. All right, because remember, this is your prophecy. So these different prophecies, you know, Yahweh Ratzah, you know, will be being fulfilled. You know, some of these prophecies that we speak of, you know, that are just gonna they're gonna happen and come to pass. It's, this is Isaiah chapter sixty-five and thirteen. And it says here, therefore, thus said the Lord, Yahweh, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Con, con. And the scriptures tells us it's going to be a, a famine, yep. you know, a famine in this world, not just a, a famine of, of food and also right. a famine of the word. But yeah. the Lord is going to keep that spirit on us. Right. He's going to have that living water, you know, yep. and not only is he going to provide food for us, he's going to provide everything, you know, right. anything, right. all our needs, he's going to provide for us, con. whether it be car carnally or spiritually. Yep. Con. Yep, it says, Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Come. It says, Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry of sorrow of heart, and ye shall hell for vexation of spirit. Come, come. 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 You know? So, you know, it's just telling you. You know, I can, we got to, of course, uh, trust in these words and they be comforting unto you. Um, you'll see that it, the Lord is true and faithful, man. He's not a man that he should lie. You know, he's the same. You know, you have a shot. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever, you know. Okay. This is, this is, that's amazing. You know, just every day we see that Yahweh Bashim Al Shah is true. You know, so, you know, with that, you know, we just got to keep pushing, keep, keep grinding, stay, uh, Stay, stay rooted in Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. You know, keep other brothers stay tight. Keep tightening up in the, you know, in the camps. You know, and and don't waver, man. You know, watch out for these spirits. There's a lot of spirits, especially at this this whole Janus January. You know, new beginnings. You know, these different people, demons, gonna be trying to throw all type of stuff, lust demons and stuff. You got to rebuke these demons going fast. You know, as as as, as the spirit needeth. You know, we all need that, man. Get these demons off you with these fast. Keep doing sacrifice, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You keep staying ahead. Pray, you know. Get close to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, and He gonna cleave onto you. You know, that's what we want. 
with that, you know, anything else? Oh, that's good. Right. Yeah, so, you know, with that, we want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechakodash. Of course, double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone, who well, peace and salutation to the elect. All right, 2020, January 1st, year of prophecy. All right, covet to prophesy. All right, Shalom. Shalom.